Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show. I'm here in front of my RV at our vacation property this week before we hit the road in the RV. But I wanted to share a product with you uh, that I just recently got from Yolink. And that's a water, automatic water valve, on off water valve switch. It includes the switch and the actual ball valve. So in this uh, case, here's how I want to use that on my vacation property. When we get up here in our minivan, right, we arrive, then I always have to come over here and turn on the water. And if you look right down here, our water is in that housing there. Now the other owner before us created that housing. Uh, it's stuffed with insulation to keep it, I guess, from freezing the, the water, main water valve underneath there. So I just hate, I hate tipping this over after leaving it for months and months, not knowing if there's a snake in there, maybe, or wasp nest, or spiders, anything like that. So I wanna get it so that I don't even have to remove this lid at all. If you look underneath here, there you go, there's the box off of it. And now you have this underground uh, cover here and usually there's bugs all over that. I just lift this up here. Let's see, get a better grip here. So, I mean, it's not too bad. There's gravel in there. There's your uh, actual valve and gauge, and there's a Y fitting on there, so you can connect two hoses. I only got one hose, and it's insulated. So I'm gonna hook up our Yolink uh, smart valve right here so I don't even have to get under here. I could just tell Alexa or go to my Yolink app and tell uh, Yolink turn it on or turn it off. Easy as that, right? So let's go back to the table. I'm gonna get the Yolink ball valve and switch all programmed and paired to the Yolink app and then we'll come over and install it. Stay tuned. All right, so we're back in a chair now at the table. Here's the Yolink Smart Waterized Valve, on-off water valve, and here's the water controller. Now, when you purchase this, you'll get both of these sent to you. These operate together. This is the actual switching mechanism, and this is the actual valve part. So let's take a look at the valve first. All right, so you're gonna get all the batteries. That's what just fell out. And here's the actual valve mechanism right here. Pretty neat. There's a ball inside there. You can see it on both ends. And this is the actual, I guess, part that turns. It gets the signal from here. I'm assuming, right? And it looks like this will plug in to this end right here. Now, Yolink does have another switching mechanism that actually, it's, it's kind of like a box similar to this, and it's got some attachment brackets that will uh, clamp on or attach to a lever valve. So if you already have a valve at your house and it's got you know one of those straight level, levers that come out and you just kind of grab the lever and turn it, they do have, Yolink has one to where you don't need the ball part it comes with this and it clamps on to your pipe or line and clamps on around your handle lever and it will actually turn it remotely like that on or off so they got two different types of systems i'm using this one because it's underground and it doesn't really have one of those lever uh, handles on it so we'll see how this works first i'm going to go ahead unbox this and get this paired up to my Yolink app. All right, here's our water valve controller. It's got the QR code on the back. You're gonna need that to actually scan the QR code and pair it to your Yolink app. As we've done on many 
devices before this from Yolink. And it's got like a little hook here with 3M sticky tape on the back. Not sure what you use that for. I guess probably if you wanted to put this on a wall, it comes with the hook. Nice touch, Yolink. In our case, it's going to be buried underground. It does also come with this uh, instruction pamphlet. All right, now the batteries should go in this unit right here. Four AA battery compartment right here. And they send the batteries to you. They just send them in the valve box. Okay. Make sure there's no plastic on this. Okay. This one's got plastic on it. All right, I got a light that flashed it on there, right there. So, this button pin is actually right here on this protective waterproof cover. So we're gonna go ahead and lock this shut. And this is actually, looks like it's waterproof. So it can be outside. There is like a rubber O-ring around the lid here. So it keeps it dry and sealed so your batteries don't get uh, corrosion. Nice touch. All right, let's go ahead and pair this with our QR code. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Yolink app. I got it right here. Here's all my Yolink devices right here, guys. So, uh, yep. You can tell I'm a fan of Yolink, and that's because of their low ray technology, long range, guys. So, you can have these on your vacation property, at your home, in your RV. I've got devices in my RV. I'm going to show you guys that soon. But uh, this right here is going to make my day if this uh, water valve, smart water valve, works by Yolink. And then hopefully, maybe I can get it connected to work with uh, voice with Alexa. So anyway, let's go up here to the top right corner. There's a little scan icon. Go ahead and select that scan. We're going to add this new water controller and scan the QR code here. All right. And then there's a name. I want to rename this to, I'm going to say YL. RV water valve. That way I know where it's at. It's near my RV save. You know what, guys? I need to actually make sure this paired to the the Yolink hub in my garage and because I got two Yolink hubs, one in the RV and one in the garage. So we're gonna have to find out which one it paired to. And room, I'm gonna set it to RV Kentucky room, which I already created. Select the check mark at the top right corner. And bind device. And then press your set button right here. One time. And then select done. And if I scroll up, I see there is the Yolink RV water valve. Now, see, I got to uh, connect these two together. We're going to go ahead and connect these two together here. They are connected. That ball inside is closed. I'm going to go ahead to my app here. I'm in RV Kentucky room, and there it is YL RV water valve. And I see the little uh, slide switch. I'm going to Tap on that. I don't see that it did anything. Make sure my connections are tight. Let's try that again. There we go. Guys, I can see you. It's open. It's open. Check that out. All right, I'm going to select the switch again on the app.
it works. All right, let's get this sucker installed. Now I did buy some other items that I thought I might need to help me attach this. Some connectors and stuff, short hoses and uh, some elbows. So we'll see what I need to get this attached and then actually test it in real life with water. All right guys, before I install this water valve, I just wanted to show you, I did get it paired with my Alexa. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Alexa app here and show you how that works. I don't have an Alexa out here, but I do have the app. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap the Alexa symbol up here and I can talk to it through my phone. There we go, or I just say Alexa. Alexa, turn on RB water valve. working with Alexa. Alexa, turn off RV water valve. Okay. So that works. Great. All right, guys, here we go. Now, you know, I'm going to be doing this as fast as I can because I don't like being in this hole here. All right, guys, I got it. No leaks. I used all those fittings that I got to uh, uh, make this leak proof. So everything's in there. No leaks. I got the water turned on and the valve is on right now, but we're going to test it out uh, with the app and stuff and see it in action. There we go. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and test this Yolink water valve out. I've got the app open. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Yolink. Now I have the app open. And go slide over to my room, RV Kentucky, and tap on RV water valve. That's what I renamed it uh, from earlier. So I'm gonna tap on that. Now we see that it is open. It is supplying us water. We can monitor it with this right here. We've got water, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select close on the app. It says it's closed now. I'll give it a minute for all the water to drain out. It is losing pressure. So we've lost some pressure there mostly just air all right I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water valve on select open now it's opening it and we're getting full pressure again because the water valve was just switched on of course we created air in our lines now but we do have full water pressure now so guys Looks like it's working. Now I can also go into the app here. Let me turn this off. Let's put that away. Now, you've got a schedule. So if I select schedule on the app, there's no schedule. If I hit plus at the top right, I can set time zone and set a schedule for it to stay on. If I knew exactly what time and day we were gonna leave, I could just uh, set the schedule and turn it off when we need that turned off. What else? I'm gonna cancel the schedule for now and go back and go back again. And we have a timer so we can set it up to do a timer. So it will stay on and then turn off at a certain time. And I'm not gonna set that now. I'm just gonna use it as uh, the valve right now for opening and closing. And it's gonna be great for my RV now. Guys, I wanna thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos and stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.